I saw the chamber of the bong more milky or white or more opaque. And unfortunately, um, I inhaled out of that bong. And um, I could tell this, this reaction was way worse. I mean, I was coughing so hard. It felt like something was stuck in my throat. I was vomiting nothing. I remember trying to have a conversation with him, but nothing was logical. I started to see visuals of like my dead body on the porch, visuals like you're watching like a TV screen right in front of you. I just saw these hands just do some really, really awful things in this TV. I, I saw, uh, do I just, I don't know if I talk about like the knife stuff, like I don't want to, but it's like the whole point of this thing. You're doing fine. Good. Um, I just saw like really bad things happening. And like, you know, I saw a brown dog at one point and something bad happened to the dog. Somebody said, why did you hurt my dog? I heard the roommate say, Bryn, what are you doing? Like more bad things kept happening. Bryn suffered what experts call marijuana-induced psychosis. It's an extreme panic attack, and it's happening more and more now because today's high-potency marijuana is stronger than ever. They don't really understand what's going on around them, and they're often becoming violent. And then I heard voices say, you're almost there, you can do it, keep going. So the more I screamed, the more I hurt myself that I was going to come back to life. She stabbed Chad, the serrated edges of the knives, leaving him with 108 wounds. Bryn even stabbed her dog, Aria, and herself. At the scene, police tased her and broke her arm in five places with a baton until she dropped the knife. Bryn, covered in blood, was rushed to the hospital where she underwent surgery and survived her 43 stab wounds. I woke up in the ICU room. I was definitely so confused because I couldn't talk. I was intubated. My arms were in cast. I kept asking, where's Chad? And nobody was telling me. I didn't find out until like two days later that he, that he, that he died from this. 